The journey of bringing House of the Dragon to life was nothing short of a thrilling odyssey, filled with auditions, challenges, and moments of camaraderie among the cast and crew. As a successor to the iconic Game of Thrones, expectations were high, and the pressure was on to recreate the magic of its predecessor. Let's delve deep into the behind-the-scenes secrets of the show, exploring the auditioning struggles, filming challenges, and the bonds formed among the cast. House of the Dragon emerges as a phoenix from the ashes of its predecessor, Game of Thrones, promising to reignite the flames of intrigue, betrayal, and dragon fire in the hearts of viewers worldwide. As the highly anticipated prequel to one of the most beloved television series of all time, House of the Dragon faced immense expectations for and scrutiny from fans and critics alike. The journey begins with a casting process, a whirlwind of auditions, and screen tests that tested the resolve of aspiring actors vying for roles in the series. From the uncertainty of not knowing the magnitude of the project they were auditioning for, to the rigorous selection process, each actor brought their unique talents and interpretations to the characters of Westeros. Creating the world of Westeros for the show involved a lot of careful planning, especially when it came to the costumes and sets. Every detail, from the majestic cities like King's Landing to the rugged landscapes of Dragonstone, had to be just right. The costume designers had the tough job of making sure each character had a unique look that also stayed true to George R. R. Martin's rich universe. Characters like Prince Daemon Targaryen and Sir Kristen Cole wore intricate armor that not only protected them but also showed off their status and personality. Fabienne Frankel, who played Sir Kristen Cole, joked about the challenges of wearing heavy armor for long hours on set. His stories about struggling to move comfortably in the armor showed how dedicated the cast was to their roles, even if it meant dealing with some discomfort. Auditioning for a role in The House of the Dragon was a roller coaster ride for many actors, each with their own unique experiences. While some were fortunate enough to be offered roles without a screen test, others had to endure an exhaustive audition process. The audition process for House of the Dragon was different for each actor, with some getting lucky and landing roles without auditioning, while others had to go through a tough screening process. Patty Considine, who played King Viserys Targaryen, was fortunate to skip auditions and get the role directly. On the other hand, Matt Smith who portrayed Prince Daemon Targaryen, had to prove himself through multiple screen tests before getting the part. The secrecy around the project made the auditions even more challenging for aspiring actors. For Emma D'Arcy, who plays Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, the audition process was shrouded in mystery. With little information about the show provided beforehand, she found herself auditioning for what seemed like just another fantasy series. Only later did she realize the magnitude of the project she had become a part of. The auditioning process was not without its challenges, with actors like DRC having to improvise on the spot, such as fashioning makeshift wigs from hair extensions due to the constraints of the pandemic. Even the background characters in House of the Dragon were given careful attention to detail. Whether there were knights or common folk, each extra helped create the rich visual world of Westeros. These extras worked hard, sometimes spending in a lot of time on set to make every scene feel authentic. Whether they were fighting in epic battles or just playing patrons in a tavern, their dedication added to the overall immersive feel of the show. Secrecy was paramount throughout the casting process, with actors sworn to silence about their involvement in the show. Many, like Olivia Cook, who portrays Alice in Hightower, feared the consequences of leaking any information, however minor it may seem. The weight of keeping such a monumental project under wraps added to the already intense pressure of auditioning for a highly anticipated series. Once the cast was chosen, they had to undergo special training for different parts of filming. This included learning to ride horses and mastering the High Valerian language. Emily Carey, who played young Alice in Hightower, had to deal with intimate scenes at a young age. With the help of an intimacy coordinator and support from her co-stars, she handled these situations professionally and gracefully. Emily Carey faced challenges when confronted with intimate scenes at a young age. With the guidance of an intimacy coordinator and the support of her co-stars, she navigated through potentially uncomfortable situations with professionalism and grace. The filming process itself was not without its share of challenges, from adverse weather conditions to long hours on set. One particularly memorable scene involved Prince Daemon Targaryen taking Princess Rhaenyra to a brothel, a sequence that required both actors to immerse themselves fully into their characters' emotions. Millie Alcock, who plays the young Rhaenyra, recounted the surreal experience of filming in a brothel setting, surrounded by extras engaged in intimate acts for hours on end. In episode 6, a 10-year time jump meant that the adult versions of some characters, like Princess Rhaenyra, needed to be introduced. To keep things fresh, the actors weren't allowed to interact until filming, allowing each of them to bring their own take to the role without being influenced by others. 
Despite the challenges they faced, the cast of House of the Dragon forged strong bonds on and off screen. Shared interests, such as a love for RuPaul's Drag Race, provided moments of levity amidst the intensity of filming. Patty Considine and Emily Carey, who shared a significant on-screen relationship as King Viserys and Queen Alicent, found common ground in their mutual admiration for drag queens, a surprising connection that brought them closer together. The cast of House of the Dragon didn't just bond over their shared interests, they also shared many laughs and moments of camaraderie on set. Matt Smith, who played Prince Daemon, brought a lot of fun with his funny personality, often making his co-stars laugh. Despite the difficulties they encountered, the cast grew closer and felt a sense of achievement together by the end of filming. As House of the Dragon unfolded, both the cast and crew encountered various challenges and successes, adding to the fascinating behind-the-scenes stories of the show. From the meticulous casting process to the detailed work and costumes on set, every aspect of production showed a commitment to quality and a determination to honor George R. R. Martin's vision. The secrets behind the scenes reveal a journey marked by uncertain auditions, filming obstacles, and moments of bonding among the cast. Through the tough casting and the demands of shooting, each part of the process helped create a series that captivated viewers around the globe. Despite the pressures they faced, the cast and crew of House of the Dragon rose to the occasion, delivering a worthy successor to the iconic Game of Thrones. In conclusion, the behind-the-scenes secrets of House of the Dragon paint a vivid picture of the dedication, creativity, and camaraderie that fueled the production of this epic series. From the arduous audition process to the intricate costume and set design, every aspect of the show's creation was marked by a relentless pursuit of excellence. The casting process, covered in secrecy and uncertainty, tested the resolve of aspiring actors who sought to become part of the rich tapestry of characters in Westeros. While some were fortunate enough to land roles without a screen test, others endured exhaustive auditions, unaware of the magnitude of the project they were auditioning for. Despite the challenges, each member of the cast brought their unique talents and interpretations to their characters, enriching the narrative with depth and nuance. The production itself was a feat of logistical coordination and creative ingenuity. From the sprawling landscapes of Dragonstone to the bustling streets of King's Landing, the world of Westeros was brought to life with breathtaking detail and authenticity. The visual effects team worked tirelessly to seamlessly integrate CGI elements with live-action footage, creating a sense of scale and spectacle that rivaled its predecessor. Behind the scenes, the cast and crew formed a tight-knit community bonded by their shared passion for storytelling. From the camaraderie forged during long hours on set to the moments of levity amidst the intensity of filming, they supported each other every step of the way. Their dedication to professionalism were evident in every frame, elevating House of the Dragon to new heights of cinematic excellence. As audiences around the world immerse themselves in the world of Westeros once again, they can appreciate the collective effort and talent that brought this epic tale to life. From the auditions to the final rap, House of the Dragon stands as a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring legacy of George R. R. Martin's universe. In the end, it is the behind-the-scenes secrets and the untold stories of dedication and passion that truly make the magic of House of the Dragon come alive. In the end, the secrets behind the scenes of House of the Dragon offer a glimpse into the creative process and collaborative spirit that fueled its success. If you found this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Your opinions matter. Let us know your thoughts on the topic discussed through our comment section.